I am back today with something that I've been wanting to get for the personal collection and to try out on the channel since I discovered it existed. This, what you're looking at in its current configuration, in my opinion anyways, is the perfect ranch rifle. It's the one rifle to roll them all in a jack of all trades setup. This is the Ruger American chambered in 762 by 39. It takes Ruger Mini 30 mags. And on top of it, it's got the primary arms SLX 1 to 6, specifically set up for 300 blackout and 762 by 39. This combination of optic and rifle blows me away at the versatility, the things you can accomplish, and the compatibility with a wide variety of ammunition to accomplish every single task you can possibly think of in the rifle category. Now, before we get too far into it, I actually found this guy at Beltway Gun and Pond in Matthews, North Carolina. I'm always heading in there at lunch, and I'm always digging through their used firearms as well as their new firearms. In fact, I'm in there so much, they work with the channel, and they give me a store credit once a month to help make videos. And the other cool thing about them is if you tell them 704 Tactical sent you over, Beltway Gun and Pond and Matthews will give you a 10% off something in their shop. Um, you just pick it out, tell them I sent you, you're good to go. Now, the other really particular thing that makes this, in my opinion anyways, one of the best ranch rifles and jack-of-all-trades rifles you can put together is the Primary Arms SLX 1-6 to with the ACSS reticle specifically set up for 300 blackout and 7.62 by 39. Now the 1-6 to gives you an incredible amount of versatility and we're going to talk about this rifle setup as well as the optic from front to back and talk about why I think this is the perfect jack-of-all-trades rifle. Now there's a lot of argument to be made about doing this exact same setup in an AR platform and that also accomplishes almost all of the same goals. And to that I say, uh, yes, the bolt action gives you some advantages and the semi-auto gives you some advantages and it really just depends on what you want. But the same philosophy of use to quote a famous YouTuber, nothing fancy, applies for both applications. It really just depends on what you want to do. So this one has a more shortened barrel. It's not an ultra long barrel, but it's a heavier profile barrel with five ace by 24 threads. And that is what lends it to quiet devices on the front of it. Combined with subsonic 762 by 39 ammo, which can actually be had by Wolf, makes this thing insanely, insanely quiet. One of the most quiet platforms you can possibly get. And that is in thanks due to the bolt action enclosed breech system. You're not going to get that level of silence out of a semi-auto platform, and that's where this really shines. So for a ranch rifle, that's what we're talking about here, a ranch rifle, sometimes you want to dispatch things quietly, be a little bit more stealthy, or not alert everybody in your surroundings to exactly what you're doing. So with the quiet device on the end, the closed breech design, and subsonic ammo, you have one of the quietest platforms on the market. The other cool thing is this takes Ruger Mini 30 mags so you can really load up, stack up, and get whatever capacity you want for this so you are not limited by a fixed magazine internally in the rifle. The other cool thing about this is it's handy, nimble, lightweight, especially with this ergonomic stock and the way the Rugers are set up. Now I've got full reviews on the Ruger Americans. I've got them in 300 blackout, almost the identical version of this firearm at 300 blackout. And I like the 762 by 39 better, and I'll explain why in the cartridge selection in the portion of this video. So I've been reviewing the Ruger Americans in 65 Creedmoor, 308, 300 blackout, 223, and now 762 by 39. I've never had one fail on me. They're insanely accurate rifles. They're ergonomic. They're well built. The safety placement is nice on the tang right here. The action is smooth. There's really not too much to complain about. Are they the best rifles of all time? Absolutely not. But we are talking about high value and budget rifles that actually work with no issues whatsoever. So moving along to the rail system on the top, it's got a very nice pick rail. It's set perfectly up so you can put an LPVO on top. Now an LPVO is a low power variable optic. 
meaning it has a one power setting all the way up to a six power setting. And what you're looking at here is a primary arms first focal plane LPVO, but they also have the second focal plane LPVO, and that is the second part of this video in combination with the 762 by 39 and 300 blackout cartridge. That is going to give you a BDC reticle system and a ranging tool built into the reticle system, as well as an incredibly affordable price. Right now, Primary Arms has their SLX 1 to 6 second focal plane on sale for $199. If you want more information about any of this, you need to check out my campsite page. I just upgraded to the premium campsite page so there's more versatility and campsite pages buried into the campsite page. A little bit confusing to explain, but just check it out. You'll see the first link and you'll understand what's going on. This is pretty slick because it generally sells for $290, but it's on sale for $199. And that is an insane price for the glass clarity, the eye box, the eye relief, and the quality of the optic, especially the BDC reticle system. Everything about that is just partnered up perfectly with this bolt action rifle. So in a nutshell, you can load supersonic steel cased ammo through here and plink all day at affordable prices and just run that cheap steel, no issues. We've already talked about the subsonic ammo for quiet shooting. And then they also have brass ammo 762 by 39 and even some match grade brass 762 by 39 where you can shoot a little bit longer distance. Again, we're talking about ranches here, so maybe out to 400 yards. You could probably stretch it a little bit further, but this reticle system, the caliber itself is capable of that. All the way up 25, 50 yards, quiet dispatching shots with a quietening device on the end of it. Cheap steel ammo for plinking and a little bit more precise brass cased ammo for distance shooting if you want to take a shot for hunting. This just covers and checks all of the boxes. The downfall is it's the bolts action, so it is going to be slower than a semi-auto, but for those states who don't allow ARs or semi-autos, this is a great option. A lot of times in a ranch situation or a hunting application, you are limited by magazine capacity or even limited by what you can and can't shoot, so this is a good option there. And the fact that it is a closed breech gun gets you insanely quiet results. When you put that uh, quiet can on the end of it, it just works out great. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you, do you like the 762 by 39 idea? Because 300 Blackout accomplishes almost the same thing, but you can't do it cheap. 300 Blackout is pretty pricey. Now the prices are coming down, but not as cheap and readily available as 762 by 39. So you get all of that cheap plinking ammo for just daily shooting and practice, but then you can buy some more premium ammo like subsonic ammo or more precise ammo like the brass case stuff and get very good results out of the Ruger American, especially with the primary arms ACSS reticle system inside this LPVO that I have mounted to the top. Again, I want to hear your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this setup? I love it. I've fallen in love with it. I think you'll like it too. All of the information is on the campsite page and the campsite page is in the description below. Definitely check it out. Follow me on my 704 Tactical Patreon page. All the daily deals are over there. You get heads up about certain things. You can also follow me on my Instagram page. My Instagram page has a ton of stories and deals over there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, thanks to Beltway Gun and Pawn for hooking me up with deals all the time and Primary Arms for sending out optics. I actually purchased this with my own money, but they're always sending out stuff to the channel. And they make solid options that you would be a fool not to at least go and check out what they're selling, especially with some of the huge sales going on right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.